Happy spring, all you intentional moms building strong families. This is Val Harrison, the Practically Speaking Mom. You're listening to episode 133. Today, my youngest two kids, who are not so young anymore, and I stopped in at Costco where we bought an azalea bush, a yellow squash plant, a zucchini plant, and a cucumber plant. Spring has officially arrived, and I totally have spring fever. So what about you? Are you planting anything? I would so love to know. We are wrapping up our content today on self-perception and helping our children to hold a healthy identity. Next week, we will be totally changing it up. I mean, I like I said, I have spring fever and I just want to do something different. This is going to be really different on the podcast, something we've never done before. Instead of one 25-minute episode next week, we're going to have three short episodes on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm calling it my week of mom encouragement, giving you a little renewed hope and some new motivation. That is next week. Then the week after that, I'll be sharing about kids' habits, how to help them have some better ones, mom hacks, and how to get your kids to clean their room without wreaking havoc on the mother-child relationship. It really is possible, and I've got so much to share with you about that. Now, later this month, we also will be introducing our brand new occasional ongoing theme called Uniquely United. I have been waiting for this new theme to begin for so long. I'm so excited about it, where we look at the different unique personalities in your home, helping each person shine while helping you also to blend well together as one unit. Because after all, God designed your unique combination of a family and it is his masterpiece. So many great topics to look forward to in the coming weeks. But first, we wrap up our series on self-perception by hearing a portion of episode 64 from a few years ago. I have been traveling on some speaking events lately, and I have been thankful that we had these two previous episodes that fit so well into our theme of helping our children to have a healthy self-perception. So let's wrap it up together today. Last week, I introduced you to the question, am I worth knowing as one of the six questions of our child's heart? And our answer to that is, I love you enough to discover who you are and discern what is happening on the inside. Discover and discern. If you did not listen to last week's podcast, episode 63, I hope you'll go back and listen to that one. This week's is some additional information that may be some additional help to you in discovering and discerning our child. So discover your child. Your child has been uniquely designed by God, and it will take a lifetime to discover all the special things that your child brings to the world. If you make it a point to become a student of your child, this will aid you in parenting, and it will also be a source of strength to your child if you let them know what you're discovering along the way. For example, saying something like, Andrew, I've noticed that you're always making sure other people have gotten to give their input in a conversation before you say anything. That's awesome that you're patient enough to care about their thoughts. I hope you know that your thoughts are valuable also. I'm praying that God will help give you more and more strength to speak your thoughts while you keep right on being a good listener. Don't stop being a good listener. It's a unique quality. Few people have what you have. Now, as you give your child insight into their unique design like that, it will strengthen them. But also, in case you, I'm sure you noticed there that I dealt with the weakness that was attached to that strength as well. Some helpful resources that might help you in discovering more about your child. You've probably heard of the five love languages. Well, they have a profile, a child profile, a questionnaire that you can fill out. It doesn't take long and it's free. I'll share the link to that with you in the show notes. The five love languages of your children is also a book that you might like to get. 
Now, when our kids are in upper upper middle school or high school, have them also take the Strength Finders. Currently, it's Strength Finders 2.0, and it's an online test that you would have them take, which does cost, or you could get the book. I think that the book is either $20 or $25, and it includes a free link to take the test. But that is a really, really valuable tool that will help them identify their strengths and their weaknesses. I have my kids use that in preparing for a job interview or a scholarship interview, um, that kind of thing. So that would be another tool you can use along the way. Now take time twice a year to do Raising a Luke 252 Kid, which I have mentioned before, which I have a $2 download on my website, practically speaking, mom.com is a website that will help you to identify in the four areas of your kids a strength and a weakness, and then how to work through those and, and really begin to shape our kids, help them allow the Holy Spirit to shape them. So that's another resource that I would encourage you to take advantage of. Now, I want to also go in some more detail with you about discern what's going on below the surface. Now, in a prior podcast mini series, we talked about root parenting, and that's a big part of what discerning our child is. So I'm not going to go on more into that so much. But what I did want to do is go over some questions with you guys that may help you to identify both discovering God's design of your child as well as discerning their heart, what's going on below the surface. So let's first look at some discover your child questions. What are some actions you can begin now to discover more about your child, their unique characteristics, how they're designed by God? Well, become a student of your child. What brings them joy? What are their interests? What shuts them down? What brightens their spirit? What are they afraid of? What do they dream about? What is their love language, their personality type, their strengths and weaknesses, their areas of temptation? Be excited about the discovery process of this unique God-designed person that has been entrusted to you. And seriously, this aspect of being excited about the discovery process, you really want your kids to see that in you. You want them to hear you say things like, when I was praying over you this week, when I was praying for you, God brought to mind this quality in you. And I just got so excited in thinking about this quality that is unique to you being given to the world through you. You're the package. You are the gift that the world gets to receive. And the cool thing about God is that is that as we live out our purpose and as we live out our gifts to the world, it also blesses us. So the more we can live in our purpose, the more the world is blessed and impacted and changed forever because of us. And the more we grow and the more we are blessed because we have poured into other people's lives. So being excited about the discovery process is so priceless for our kids. So what are some habits that you need to change in order to be a better barometer of your child. And and barometer, I talk about this in my book, Wearing All Your Hats Without Wearing Out. And I think I mentioned it, you know, sprinkled throughout different podcasts in the past, but being a barometer is really a special ability that I feel like God has given parents and, and quite honestly, especially moms, to sense that something is wrong with our kids. Maybe we notice a little signal or maybe, you know, being prayerful with God on a hopefully daily basis about your kids, the Holy Spirit will just plant some thoughts in you of, Hey, uh, there might be a problem there. You need to dig deeper. The Holy Spirit showed me some things recently when I was praying for one of my kids and it was just a a kind of a heavy feeling that God kept placing on my heart about a particular area with one of my kids. And because God kept putting this thought in my mind, it just became clear to me that God wanted me to talk to that child about something. And really, 
what God was doing, and I didn't realize it, was he was preparing my heart for a change that was coming in that child's life. And because I was praying for that child, God was preparing me and showing me things that I don't believe he would have otherwise if I hadn't been spending that time in prayer. So I just want to encourage you that a very big part of this wonderful gift and privilege of knowing our child through discerning them and discovering them is prayerfully doing this partnered with God. He's the one who designed them. And he's the one that he says he searches our hearts. He knows us really even better than we know ourselves. And so being connected with him, prayerfully partnering with him in discovering and discerning our child's heart is imperative to fully doing all we can to impact their development. Now let's talk about a few questions that you could ask yourself that, you know, some, some digging deeper questions to help you discern the heart of your child. Are you being observant and watching for warning signs in their actions and attitudes, continually keeping awareness of potential trouble in the four main categories that I mentioned, especially in the Raising a Luke 252 series? I'll, I'll put a link to that one, but the four Categories, physical, mental, academic, relationship with people, relationship with God. Those four main areas, you want to be very observant and prayerfully observant. Now, what are some habits you need to change in order to do more root parenting? Getting your child to reveal their heart to you requires a healthy relationship with them or they will conceal their heart. I got to be honest, guys, with one of my kids right now, I feel like, well, I know that there's still some wounds that have to be healed before this child is really willing to open up with me, their heart. And right now they keep it more concealed, which of course breaks my heart. Sometimes even though we've met well, we do create some wounds and Instead of it hurting us so much that we ignore it, we need to face it, moms. We need to pray about the situation and we need to ask the child and ask God, what are some things I can be doing to heal this? And then we have to realize that that it just is going to take some time too. So I'm in that taking some time phase with one of my kids where they are concealing their heart from me. Now, what are some things you can do to improve the climate of your relationship? Are you praying regularly that God will reveal to you any troubles that your child may be experiencing of which you're currently unaware? So those are some questions you can ask for discovering your child and discerning your child, both of which fall under the question, am I worth knowing? I want to close out today, Intentional Parents, by encouraging you in your pursuit of learning your child's unique design and helping them to allow God to hone those strengths. You see, left to our own devices or to our own vices, we will too often use our strengths in less than healthy ways. That's how we end up with bully bosses or kind people who are weak people who allow themselves to be trampled by everyone, or how we end up being people who desire to please someone so much that we end up over-promising and under-delivering until we wind up pleasing no one at all. Our strengths and our weaknesses are usually the same thing. It's just whether or not those weaknesses are being shaped into strengths. So, intentional parents, let's point out our children's unique design to them to help them know their fantastic identity, but let's also inspire them to grow and hone those abilities and allow God to shape them into his masterful, one-of-a-kind purpose for their lives. 
It's been an honor to spend time with you today. If this podcast has been a blessing, share it with a friend, leave a review, and head over to practicallyspeakingmom.com to subscribe to my weekly email that contains that week's podcast episode, blog post, and show notes. Join me on Instagram at Practically Speaking Mom and in my Facebook group, Intentional Mom Strong Family. See you next week.